What is happening guys, it's Spruce Goose here, and I think RPOs are the most fun kind of play in all of Madden. So here are my top 5 RPOs that are 100% guaranteed to make your opponents rage quit. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so before we get into it, I just want to ask that if you enjoyed the video or if you learned something, please like and subscribe because it's the best way to support the channel. But right now, we're looking at the number 5 best RPO in Madden 21, and if you saw part 4 of my free spread ebook, which is here on the YouTube channel, you're going to recognize this one. I'm in the spread playbook, I'm going to the formation gun, tackle over trips, and the play is going to be RPO read X smoke, and I'm going to flip the play to make sure I always have my doubles receivers to the wide side of the field. And on defense, I'm just going to call random play. So here is the play art, and what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to take advantage of a little glitch in the game to where I'm going to motion over this slot receiver, and most of the time, if your opponent is pressing up, which most people do online, the outside cornerback on the right side, you see he's got that P icon above his head? That means he's the pitch key. So on an RPO, there's going to be a run key and a pitch key. And so that's what the R and the P stand for. If that outside corner has the P above his head, when you hike the ball, he is going to come flying in and you can throw the screen pass to your B receiver and he's going to be completely on guard. So I'm going to hike the ball. I'm going to throw it out to B. The corner came flying in and we can take off upfield for a ton of yards. It's very glitchy, guys. And the only way for your opponent to counter it is for him to pass commit. Now, right here, what's going to happen when we motion this guy over, it looks like our opponent is not pressing. And so we can still run this play normally like a read option. And so we're going to read the run key, which is the defensive end with the R above his head. And so there's really two things you can do here. Uh, that defender is either going to play the quarterback, which means he's going to kind of break down and just kind of stand there. And in that case, you want to hand off to the running back by holding A on Xbox or X on PlayStation, or that defender is going to go after the running back, in which case you keep with your quarterback and just run the ball. And after you make that read, you can go ahead and look at the B receiver late if you want, because sometimes that cornerback on the outside just drops way back and you can still throw it late, but you definitely don't just want to throw it right at the snap. So right here, I'm going to read the defensive end. He committed to the running back. You take off with the quarterback again for huge yards. And so every play I recommend just motioning over the slot receiver. And again, the outside cornerback gets the P above his head. And now here's one trick guys, because your opponent might pass commit. And so if I just hike the ball and throw it, I'm kind of throwing it blind because the outside corner, he's just too far outside for me to actually see him at the snap. So what you can do is you can press down on the D-pad. Uh, that's once, and then I press it twice, and we zoom our camera out a lot. And then I hold down the right trigger, and we get this really zoomed out view. And then when we hike the ball, we can pretty much see instantly whether that cornerback's coming in. Now I know that you have to play the rest of the play at this weird angle, but I think it's completely worth it uh, just, to, just to make sure that that cornerback is really coming in. And so that is really the key of this play, guys. You always motion over the slot receiver. If you got the P icon on the outside corner, you're looking at the uh, defender, or sorry, the receiver on the outside first. Oh, and if they do pass commit, if that corner does not come in, just hand it off to the running back. Just hand it off to the running back, and uh, it still functions like a normal inside zone. Nothing wrong with that. But guys, that is the RPO read X smoke. Let's jump ahead to play number four. All right, guys, so the number four RPO comes from one of my favorite formations in all of Madden 21. I'm in the Seattle Seahawks playbook right now, and I'm going to the formation gun, trips tight and offset, and the play is going to be RPO buck alert bubble. And of course, we'll do random play on defense. And as you guys can see from the play art, we have two components to the play. We have a bubble screen on the left side, and we have a run with two pulling guards lead blocking for us on the right side. And real quick, I just want to show you guys that this is an excellent run play, even without the bubble screen. So just let's do a couple reps of just the run play. And as long as you follow your pulling guards and usually take it inside a little bit, you can get some really nice gains on this play. Uh, and so again, you see the, oh, unfortunately uh, there was a block shot right there, but if that block shot didn't happen, we had a lot of running room in front of us. Um, so I just really do think that this is a really, really good run play. And hopefully you guys can see that we are busting off some pretty solid gains every time as long as the blocks hold, which is kind of uh, you know, a prerequisite for, for any run play to work. Hope you guys can see, though, this is a very solid run play. Now let's add in the bubble aspect to it. So on this play, what I am reading is the defender lined up directly across from our B receiver, the one on the bubble. If he uh, shifts outside on the snap... I am not throwing it to him because usually that means he's manned up. So let's go ahead and snap the ball. Let's read the defender lined up straight across from our B receiver. And you see him shift outside. 
that means we're going to run the ball. And it actually turned out perfect for us because we're taking it for a touchdown. But let's look at the replay really quick. I want to show you guys. Um, that is the number one thing I'm reading for. Uh, and obviously, there are other adjustments your opponent can make as well. They could maybe take this guy and put him on a hard flat or something. But most of the time, if you see this guy shift outside, that means he's manned up. And if you throw this ball to someone uh, who has a defender manned up on him, he's not going to get any yards on it. He's just going to get tackled for, like, no gain. Now, right here, you can see we have a numbers advantage on the left side. So there's a very good chance that I'm going to throw this bubble screen. As long as that one slot cornerback is not playing, like, a hard flat, we can definitely throw this. So let's go ahead and snap it. And you can see uh, it is just wide open and we are just gone down the sidelines for a ton of yards. And so I really do think that you can you can make about 90% of the read pre-snap. So again, let's go ahead and watch. And as long as the defender lined up across from B doesn't shift outside, we're going to throw it. He did shift outside though. And we run the ball. And look at, look at these gains we're getting, guys. Look at these huge gains we're getting. So I really do think that that initial movement off the snap is going to be 90% of it. Again, let's read the guy at the snap he did not move outside we throw it our guys hold their blocks and we get a ton of yards and so it really is that simple guys now of course uh you want to be mindful of okay well this one uh you know sometimes I, I wish they would take the like the prevent defenses out of random play but it is what it is but really you can make most of it with a pre-snap read and again if the if your opponent is uh really smart he's gonna maybe take that middle corner and put him on a hard flat uh so just try to watch out for that as well but most of the time if you just read the guy lined up directly across from your b receiver again he slides outside we hand off we run for a bunch of yards it really is that simple guys let's do one more rep and hopefully we'll get to throw it looks like we'll probably get to throw it right here and the blocks hold super well and we have a 10 yard gain so guys that was the rpo buck alert bubble let's jump ahead to play number three all right, guys, so at number three, we are back in the spread playbook. And I just found this play pretty recently, but I've been loving it so far. The formation is going to be gun doubles offset week, and the play is going to be RPO read bubble. And I'm going to flip it so that our doubles receivers are to the wide side of the field. And we'll do random play on defense. And this is a pretty standard setup. Most of the time, you will get the slot cornerback to have the P icon above his head. And as long as your opponent doesn't pass commit, that bubble screen is going to be wide open. Now, one thing I definitely recommend on throwing the bubble screen is that you just wait a little bit longer than maybe you typically would to make this throw because that slot corner likes to go after the bubble screen once you throw it. And so as long as you just wait a little bit longer, see how he went back out there? See how once the throw came out, he went back out there? It's not an issue as long as you just wait long enough. You just wait the extra half second, let him run in a little bit further, and then once he comes in there, then you throw it out there. Sometimes he won't even go back out but I wait the extra half second just in case. And in my experience, that outside block from the receiver holds super well, so I'm not worried about that. Um, but it's just about making sure. And right there, he actually uh, turned around and uh, went after. I, I was just kind of, you know, not reading it very closely. I was just kind of throwing it. Um, but you definitely want to make sure you actually read it. Now, whenever it's the R icon, you can pretty much always throw this because uh, they just will not play at all. So if you get the R icon... Uh, above the slot corner's head you can throw it every single time most time though it will be the p icon and again make sure that he comes in then you throw it out there and you're getting easy 10 yard gain almost every single time you run it uh as always oh there's the r icon again okay uh so right there even though he played uh the quarterback this time you know, he kind of like broke down instead of sprinting in there you can still see the ball screen's wide open now uh there's actually no r icon on this play which is uh pretty funky but again we can just throw it out there that's actually the closest i've ever seen the outside corner to playing that um that usually does not happen i would not worry too much about it hopefully you don't have an unlucky experience where that gets pick sixed uh but again i have not actually ever seen that happen even though i know twice in a row it was a pretty close call i have never thrown an interception on this play all the times i've ran it so far at least uh, the one other thing I want to say, guys, is of course, if your opponent pass commits, then you run this like a normal read option. You read the run key, who's the defensive end in this case. And so right there, he went after the, uh, what's, this, what's it called? He went after the running back. And so I kept it the quarterback. And you saw right there, the, the pitch key actually was coming in. Let's go ahead and watch the replay real quick. But basically, uh, this was the run key. This was the pitch key. So the run key went after the running back. So I kept it the quarterback. But now the pitch key is flying in. And unfortunately, guys, now I look again, this will be an illegal man downfield penalty. As unfortunate as that is, 
uh, just because this alignment is way too far downfield when I make the throw. Now, the reality is it never would have come to this. I was just trying to demonstrate uh, running it as a read option in the event that your opponent pass commits. Um, but this is your number one read, guys. If this slot corner comes in, you throw the bubble screen every time. Don't overcomplicate it. Watch him come in there, throw it outside, get your easy yards. And it's that simple. But once you see him start pass committing, so once you see that slot corner start to kind of shift outside with the slot receiver on the bubble screen, then you need to start running it like a read option by reading the run key at the defensive end position. But guys, that is our pure read bubble. Let's jump ahead to number two. All right, guys, at number two is a play that I actually made a TikTok on that got a ton of views, but there are a lot of comments with people kind of confused thinking that the play I was showing was a slightly different play. And so let's take a look at it right now. The formation is gun slot offset and it is not RPO peak zone bubble, which is what a lot of people on TikTok thought it was. It is actually RPO read bubble. Now, RPO peak zone bubble is a good play as well. And MMG, the YouTuber, made it very popular last year. But for this video, we're looking at RPO read bubble. And I'm actually going to flip the play, set my doubles receivers R2, the short side of the field this time. So let's call that. Let's call random play on defense. And guys, this is the exact setup we want to see. We want to get the outside cornerback with the P icon above his head. And what's going to happen if that outside corner has the P icon above his head, and if your opponent doesn't pass commit, you hike the ball, you get this motion swing for your running back, and you throw it out to your running back, and you are going to get a lot of yards on that because that corner is just going to come flying in. That's just what happens when he's got the P icon above his head. I'll show you guys again. He comes flying in. You can throw it immediately. As long as you throw it immediately, the corner is not going to go back and make a play on the ball. If you hesitate, he might make a play on the ball. But as long as you throw it immediately, you are going to get a lot of really big gains on it. Now, let's say you don't get the P icon out there. You can still run this like a normal read option by reading the run key at the uh, defensive end position. And so in this case, he went after the running back. You keep with the quarterback and you know you, you, you take off it looked like in that case we could have thrown the halfback on the on the motion swing as well uh but in a sec when we get another example i'll show you guys why you don't always want to do that now obviously again if you get the p icon just throw to the running back every time uh, but hopefully we'll get an example so right here i'm gonna go ahead and throw the running back uh even though we don't have the p icon on the outside uh corner and it actually worked out for us that time but you guys saw it was a lot closer to throw and sometimes that safety just comes flying down and makes the tackle so I'm, I'm trying to get an unsuccessful example just to show you guys not to always throw it and the thing is it's actually like working pretty well right now as well um i i guess i want to say be careful if the p icon is not the outside cornerback please just be careful when you throw the motion swing it try to read uh where the defenders are going before you actually throw it and again, you can still run this like a normal uh, read option uh, in the event that um, uh, the P icon is not the outside corner. But hopefully you guys can see that this play can get really glitchy. And uh, especially if your opponent is pressing, which most people are pressing online, you get the P icon on the outside cornerback and you're going to bust this for a lot of big gains. But guys, that is number two. Let's jump ahead to number one. All right, guys, so at number one is a play you're probably sick of hearing about if you've been around my channel for a while, but I love this play. It is my single favorite play in all of Madden 21, and so I'm going to the formation Gun Y off Trips, and the play is going to be, of course, RPO Bubble Y Pop, and we'll do random play on defense, and this play is so good that I completely ignore uh, the stuff on the outside. I ignore the option route on the X receiver. I ignore the bubble screen on the RB receiver. I just focus on the three options in the middle, the handoff to the running back, the quarterback keeper and the pop route to the tight end and i believe the steelers have an inside stuff so we're gonna need to double team this every play or else he'll just completely blow it up in the backfield but if you practice quickly reading these three options guys you'll be almost unstoppable with this play and so option one is the handoff to the running back and i've had entire game winning drives just handing off to the running back because people are so afraid of the quarterback run and the tight end pop route that they just let me hand this off over and over and over again now the inside stuff is kind of shedding like crazy right there um, but i'm telling you guys i have just ran this over and over and over again uh, just the running back handoff and it would get me like six seven eight nine yards of, of carry uh, if your opponent uh, is worried about the other options so let's say they actually focus on the running back handoff though uh you can keep with your quarterback 
and actually take off for a ton of yards as well, especially if you have an escape bars quarterback. So if you're in regs, uh, you want Lamar or Kyler Murray most likely. Uh, if you're in Mutt, uh, just anyone anyone fast you can put escape artist on. Uh, but you can just absolutely take off on this play. And I know in the Madden 22 beta, uh, you cannot take off like this anymore with your quarterback. It's going to make me very sad for Madden 22. But at least here in Madden 21, you can take off like crazy. And I love it. And then the third option is the tight end on this pop route. And it's just so good. The opponent usually doesn't see it coming. They see uh, what they think is just a read option. They see the handoff to the running back. They see the quarterback keeper. They think it's a read option. Then all of a sudden, you hit them with this pop route. And unfortunately, uh, without Gunslinger, uh, it's a little tougher to fit those throws in. I definitely recommend uh, you have Gunslinger uh, if you're playing in mutt. Like, you absolutely should be using Gunslinger, honestly. Um, but the one thing I want to say about this play, guys, is you have to be careful about illegal man downfield. And so let's look at this replay uh, real quick because this might have been a situation where it was actually illegal man downfield. So what's going to happen is your O-line is going to get a pretty good release. Now, we're actually good right here. But what happens is if you wait too long, if your O-line gets at least five yards downfield, I know that's not the rule in real football, but in Madden, five yards is where they draw the line. If you have an O-lineman more than five yards downfield when you throw the ball, it's going to be an illegal man downfield penalty and the play is coming back. And the reason that's important is because some people, they wait too long on this throw. And I get questions all the time in my Twitch stream about, I keep getting legal man down field penalties. It's because you're waiting too long. You have to make this throw really quick. I know it's tempting to watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, and sometimes let the tight end clear the linebackers and then throw it. But you got to make this throw really quick. And if there's any doubt in your mind, just keep it. Just keep it with your quarterback and take off because... You don't want an illegal man downfield. Pen. That, that, that's the worst that you can do for you. And the quarterback runs really good. So if you look at the tight end, if it is not wide open right away, uh, just don't even bother. Like right there, that might have been illegal man downfield. We didn't even wait that long, I don't think. I want to go back and check the, uh, the O-line on the left side. Let's check uh, 77. And yep, that right there, guys. Uh, it's, it's close, but you see that hand coming across? That's an illegal man downfield penalty because his hand is across uh, the five-yard mark from the last scrimmage. So that right there, that that's how close it can be. You definitely got to make your reads quick. Now, if you make your reads quick, you can get some really awesome plays out of it. And so definitely get in practice mode. Try this out. But guys, that is RPO Bubble Wide Pop. One of the best plays in the game, in my opinion. Without a doubt, my favorite play of the game. And I run this all the time and just have an absolute blast with it. But anyway, guys, that is the top five RPOs in Madden 21. There's a lot of RPOs in the game, so of course, it's going to be some that I left out of this list. So in the comments below, please let me know what RPOs you guys like to run. And I love RPOs, so I'll probably give them a shot sometime, maybe even on my Twitch stream at twitch.tv slash BruceGooseTV. And I stream over there Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 10 p.m. Eastern. But once again, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you did. But with that, I hope you guys have a great one, and I'll catch you in the next video.